What is Kraken? Uh, gaming fans. Nah, I don't even know. Wh whatever. Uh, it's game walkthroughs 22. Back playing more Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation. And now we are going to move on to Al's Penthouse. And in the last episode, we finished up the uh, horror known as Alleys and Gullies. And now we're going to. Uh, move on to um, level 11. So. And we are not too much further away from completing the game. So, this is. Well, I mean, Al's apartment, Al's penthouse, whatever you want to call it, but uh, it's. Um, yeah. So, this level I've had some fond memories with. This is actually a rather, um, rather easy level, as surprising as that sounds. I mean, with I mean, it's it's one of the later levels of the game, and it's actually it's surprisingly kind of simple. So, what we're doing is we have to find five horseshoes and return them to Bullseye. Let's see. This will probably take me a couple tries because I do not remember where all the horseshoes are. So I'm just going to, oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh man, I was trying to stare at Bullseye's ass. I was trying to like, just like, I was trying to chase his ass. Kind of like how a dog would like chase its tail, but yeah, you know. There's another one right here. Oh, there's one right there. So they're just they're just scattered. Oh yeah, there's one I forgot there's one up here. And um whoa. Okay, let's see. And there is another one. I forget where the last one is. That was my impression of a horse. Uh, as you can see, uh, I failed miserably because then I started coughing. But um, my God, where is that last horseshoe? Oh, it's right there. Oh, okay, I see. And we got the last one, and we just ran out of time. All right, I should get this time. Alright. Remember, you have to go quick, too, because you're only given 26 seconds. So, come on. We're going to do it this time. Yeah, that's right. In your face, timer. Alright. Alright. Uh, you know, for the hell of it, we're going to grab the we're going to grab the extra life in the fire by using the cosmic shield. I actually didn't know about this until um, recently when I was um, when I was looking up uh, what was it? Uh, I was uh, looking up uh, a walkthrough for this game. Well, not really a walkthrough, but just like, I guess like hints. That you wouldn't know unless you, um, like, uh, oh my god, god. stupid, yeah, got this bird, so, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about, um, we have new enemies, we have those birds, uh, and we also have, uh, yeah, we have those birds, let's see, here we go. And by shooting uh, that lock, it's going to lead us to the bathroom. Oh yeah, and we have these um, we have these guys um, that fire uh, bullets. Is gun firing, gun firing uh, cowboys. Uh, what these uh, teal switches do is they, these actually raise the water level of the bathroom. So it's like as if we were flooding the bathroom. I mean, can you imagine how, uh, can you imagine how pissed off Al would be 
if um, he, he uh, <laughs> if he uh, walked into his bathroom and saw it was all flooded, he'd be really pissed. Oh yeah, and um, these the the lower ones um allow you to um allow you to uh, drain the water, and then these ones that are um the higher up areas they um raise the level of the water. And we have these sponges. Have some uh, decent platforming. Another one right here. And the sponge should. I don't want to be in the way uh, with my laser. Come on. Nope, it's not. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And this, this, these red switches, you um, probably noticed that there was a uh, cannon firing, um, there's a uh, cannon firing cannonballs at me. These red switches um, will turn off the cannons so they won't be firing projectiles at you, so that's really nice. And this is the highest that the water, that the water is going to rise. So. so, as you can see, the entire bathroom is flooded, almost um, all the way up to the ceiling, so that would be insane. Uh, we have a critter, we have to return five of these to Jesse, and there was another one or we were doing a bullseye's horseshoe challenge that I forgot to grab. I'm gonna go back and grab that one. And yeah, we're just gonna just plunge to our death. <laughs> I just hate it how the water slows you down, how you move so freaking slow. I mean, look, look at this, this is ridiculous. And not to mention how you jump, like, so, um... Awkwardly, awkward, that yeah, awkwardly slow. So let's just drain the water because the water is just annoying me because it's allowing us to move so damn slow. There we go. That's better. There it is. Have it. Turn it back to the way that we found it. So now to grab that critter. So. There's different areas that we explore in Al's apartment, such as his uh, his bathroom, which I know sounds funny. <laughs> uh, his living room, which we're in right now. His bedroom, I believe. His kitchen. Uh... Okay, so that critter that is up there I actually forget how to get to it let's see forget did we already oh yeah we already killed that one and there's Rex which we're not going to talk to because Rex is uh <sighs> uh annoying let's kill this bastard And even if you kill the guy and he fires uh, a missile, you can still get hurt by it, which I think is kind of BS. And Jesse is on top of this counter, but I unfortunately don't remember how to get up there. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a lock, which we're going to fire at. So now we're going to climb up in Al's, ref uh, Al's refrigerator. So he's got looks like bottles and I thought that was cheese and milk. It might be. I'm not sure, but I don't think it actually is. So there's Jesse, and we got another bird. And Jesse's not gonna shut the hell up. There we 
go. And there's Al's coffee maker. And Al's stove. And don't don't step on the the spots that are flashing red because you will take damage. Another critter up there, bouncing. Let's get rid of the snake. Snakey. My God, Jesse, shut the hell up, or I swear to God, I'm gonna strangle you. You have to watch out for that bird. <coughs> Because if we were climbing those uh, chains and he screwed us over, then we would... Uh, well, I don't know about you guys, because you guys are just watching this. I'm the one that's actually playing. I, I mean, I would be I would be greatly annoyed. Let's grab that critter. And that pretty much takes care of the kitchen. We are later a return to Jesse when we have... Collected all five of her critters. Oh my god. Shut up, Rex. Oh, I know how to get the next token buzz. As you can hear that his uh, his phrase changed again. But, um... He's still... Still pretty annoying. So in order to get up onto Al's bed, we have to we had to move that box. Let's see, where's that green laser at? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. So, so this is Al's bed. It's a it's a giant uh, steam engine. Come on. So never actually it never actually they never actually showed us what Al's room looked like in the movie. So this is actually kind of interesting to see. So <clears throat> for this. Um, for this uh, secret token, what we have to do is there's these uh, trains that are um, moving around on these tracks. What we have to do is we have to um, we have to turn the switches so that the uh, think there um, what is it uh, uh, two sets of trains. Uh, or this one train, we need to make it so that uh, it will run into, so that it will run into this uh, this uh, the stopper right here. And this uh, secret token can be a pain in the ass because it can take a couple tries. So they have to use the switches. As you can see, there's three different switches, and then we also have this box too, which uh, I don't remember if we actually need to use the box or not. I think we do actually. I think we do need to use the box. Uh, we can just jump back here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. Mm. No time to lose. And again, there's another cannon that's current that's repeatedly firing cannonballs at us. So So 
So you need to um, arrange the tracks in a way that the train will um, run into that stopper. And you can't, and thankfully you can't actually get hurt by the train. You can stop it though, but thankfully it doesn't hurt you. So, that's kind of nice. Let's see. The only thing we have to worry about now is the, the stupid uh, cannon ball. Stupid cannon balls being fired at us. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, let's see if it'll actually do it. No. Uh, I guess we can wait and see if I actually did it. Although I think you do need to mess around with all three switches. I don't think you can just mess around with the one. Because what I'm thinking is that it might work, but it might just take a while for the train to eventually run into the stopper. I don't know. Oh, let's see. That's probably not going to work. No. Yeah, see? Um... Yeah, it's... That is not going to work. So we do need to screw around with all three switches before we can, um... Before we can figure out which one is going to, um... Make the train stop. And actually, I, I, uh, I stand corrected. There's only one train, but, um... There's three different switches. They need to obviously find a way to uh, make the train run into the stopper so that we can grab the token. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's turning around again. So. We're just gonna wait. And. Uh, oh. Okay. Didn't even look like the cannon was even facing my way, and it's... It's, uh... Oh, pfft. Trying to run me off the tracks, I see. Asshole. So, let's see if the train is actually going to run into the stopper. I don't think it will. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't know. I'm thinking probably not. Oh, no, it did! It did, it stopped. Okay. So... Okay, now I remember. I remember what the box is for. So what we need to do, we needed to obviously screw around with the switches to make the train stop. And then, when the train is no longer moving, then we can use the box to um, boost ourselves up to uh, uh, the top of Al's bed and grab the uh, token. And the reason you wanted to stop the train is because... The train will be screwing you over when you're trying to move the box, so... There might be a way to grab the token without stopping the train um, when um, pushing the box, but I'm not sure. All right, let's see. So yeah, now we can grab the token and we can turn off this cannon. Now we have enough, uh, we have enough coins for ham. So now Oh yeah, and also I guess this would be like Al Studio or something I don't even know. But this is where we're going to confront the mini boss, which is a gunslinger. And we have a creepy uh 
the uh, creepy uh, cardboard cutout of Woody. So I think I'm going to uh, take on the uh, gunslinger boss now. And I'll let that not let that guy get in my way. Get rid of this bird. Cause he's a minor annoyance. A grill is a grill, no matter where you go. -na 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 -na. Oh my god! I totally forgot there was a cannon here. Let me push this Woody's Roundup lunchbox. There's another. Oh, pff. I actually thought that was a critter, but I think there is a. I think there is a critter in this in this room. I just don't know where. Let's see. Screw that coin because we do not need it. Boom, ba, 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 boom. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's turn off the cannon. I believe there was only one cannon in this room. I think there's only like one cannon per room. So now we're going to take on the gunslinger boss. It's going to be very easy. I'm just going to use a spin attack. Since I don't have the, uh, the strong green laser. <clears throat> I probably am going to die because I'm getting hit multiple times. He's probably gonna die before I do. Yeah, see? Oh, pfft. That was pretty funny. He, uh, he looked... <coughs> he looked like he was going through the background, and then, uh, weirdly, he just, um, he shows up all the way right here. And it actually does look kind of creepy. He can actually, like, and he can actually, like, walk... He actually, like, go through him. That's actually... Like, look at this. I'm standing through his face. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh no, there, there's two cannons, so we deactivated that cannon. I believe we're done with this room. And now, to get the last critter, which is on that high shelf where Al's living room is, you're almost done with this level. Which took a little longer than I thought because I was having some trouble. I mean, it has been a while since I played this level, so you can't really blame me. Oh, now I remember, you have to, you have to climb up this lamp. Oh, there's the green laser. Oh, that would have been that would have been helpful for uh, some other stuff. Whoops, and I completely missed because I overshadowed my jump. Sometimes it's annoying when you're trying to grab on to uh, things to swing across, and you don't know if you're supposed to just um, jump once or if you're supposed to do a double jump. So that's annoying. Something that the developers didn't make very clear. You have to figure out yourself by trial and error. There we go. I believe this one we have to. Okay. Get rid of that cannon so that I'm not being fired upon when trying to grab the last critter. Okay, now this is definitely a double jump. There we go. Alright. 
over here. <sighs> wow. Rex says over here, and then Jesse says over here, Buzz. Shit. <clears throat> Her face looks kind of creepy. Alright, and now to return those coins to Ham, and then we will be done with this level. Oh, that's a ticket. Here you go, Buzzy Boy. And... Yep. With that said, we are finished Al's penthouse. And we're going to fly up to the ceiling in Al's bathroom. So, in the next episode, we are going to uh, take on uh, the evil Emperor Zerg. <clears throat> and then move on to... Uh, the airport, and be even closer to finishing the game. So until next time, I have been Game Walkthroughs 22. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.